Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the income elasticity of consumption using the differential. We have taken a standard form of the consumption function, which is C is equal to A plus B. We know about A being the autonomous consumption and B being the marginal propensity to consume. Or in key parametric restrictions, we have seen that positive hai. B is also positive, but a fraction between 0 and 1. Elasticity of consumption, how can we calculate kar sakte hai? By taking the derivative of consumption function, is calm derivative calculate kar sakte hai? Or average function calculate kar sakte hai? By taking the ratio of consumption function with the independent variable, which is y. So, after learning this formula, we will substitute values ko substitute karenge. We have to take the derivative of the consumption function with respect to y. This answer b hai. Ye aap khud verify kar sakte hai by pausing the video or do, do it yourself. Or uske baad we can put this value here in the numerator. And we already know that the value of c is a plus b y and y will remain as it is. So we can transform it a little bit. Isse hum reciprocalize karke aise bhi likh sakte hai. Or now it is more consolidated. Iski interpretation bhi asaan hai. E C Y is positive. हम इसे positive इसलिए कह सकते हैं, because B भी positive है. हमने already assume किया हुआ है. A parameter जो है, वो भी positive है. और definitely income तो positive ही होती है. So once we put all these positive values, the answer will definitely be positive. So we have learnt a lesson here that it is a positive value. Secondly, ये value less than one होने के chance है. And that is because if we invert it, because we are doing numerator ka comparison with the denominator, we have to see if the answer is se greater than 1 or not. So we have compared the numerator with the denominator. So you are seeing that the numerator mein jo value hai, wo denominator mein a mein jama ho ke calculate the denominator. So the obvious thing is that n jo hai, numerator will be small as compared to the denominator, which will be added additional value. Jama ki ja rahi. So the answer will be less than 1. This means that we are verifying Keynes law of consumption. Ko verify kar rahe. That is the percentage change in C divided by percentage change in Y is less than 1. That means that we are not consuming any additional income. We are consuming a proportion ko consume kar rahe. And this is why that proportion is less than total value. Se kam hai. It is less than that. So we this law ko is way. Consider kar sakte hai and we can interpret this elasticity in order to see if Keynes law of consumption is being verified or not. A specific example bhi hai, numerical exercise se aap iski interpretation asani se kar sakte hai. Consumption function hai aur iske liye jo formula abhi humne device kiya wo likha hua hai. Aur iske andar dahari baat hai hume value lagani padegi derivative ki wo ye calculate kiya gaya hai. Aap iska process code calculate kare, do it yourself or rehearsal kare and see if it is correct. Uske lawa, we need the value of C jo ke hamne yaha par y ki value laga kar discover ki and that is this. Yaha par ehtiyat tala baat ye hai ke agar income 100 hai to yaha par ye bhi consumption jo hai wo bhi 100 nazar aari hai. Lekin it, it is not necessary that all the income is always consumed because jo additional consumption hai wo 80 hai and this is autonomous consumption which exists in any case. Exist karti hai. So this 80 actually is the additional consumption after the uh, income is considered to be 100. So after putting these values we get the answer of this elasticity and that shows that it is a positive value. Yes there is a positive relationship as income increases we increase consumption. Ko bhi hai. But the question is that we can see how income we see in income Kya utna hi consume karte hai? Nahi aisa nahi hai as per the Keynes law. Kyunke jo income ka izafa hai, wo jitna hoga hum usse thoda sa kam kharchenge depending upon the MPC that is marginal propensity to consume. So this is how we can calculate the income elasticity of consumption and interpret it. And all of it was done with the help of differentials.